Hi and welcome to Painting Nova, a video series that follows the progress of my painting Nova from start to finish. In part two, Painting the Study, I'll show you how and why I complete an oil painting study prior to the final work. You can see the completed version of the study here, and it's a 9 by 12 oil on wood panel. You'll notice side by side here I have the study prior to being completed, and my palette with pre-mixed paint. In part one, I went through how I pre-mix color and why I find it beneficial to do this. Now I'm using these pre-mixed colors to begin painting the color study. There are several little patches of color already on the color study, and that's because as I mixed the colors previously, I would apply a small piece of paint, a little brush stroke, to the underpainting of the study, which is sort of the orange part that you're seeing, in order to know where each color is meant to go. Off camera, I have my photo reference, and I'm using it to compare my colors once in a while in order to test whether I have the right color before applying it to the study. The underpainting for the study is done in Old Holland Transparent Red Iron Oxide, which is the same color I use for the underpaintings on my most of my paintings, and the same color I'll use for the underpainting on the final version of the painting. Sometimes the colors can look a little strange as they're first applied. Maybe too gray or too cool. And it's important to keep in mind that most of that is coming from the relationship being incorrect, just temporarily. I have carefully mixed my colors, so I'm going to, I'm going to trust that they're correct at, at these early stages and not let the incorrect relationship kind of make me second guess the colors that I've mixed. And by incorrect relationship, I mean the relationship between the colors that I'm applying and the color of the underpainting, that kind of rich, rusty, uh, transparent red iron oxide. Because we tend to perceive colors as relationships rather than as objective colors, the colors that I'm applying right now appear to be gray and cool, maybe too purple, because they're being put against something so vibrant and warm. There's something really freeing about knowing this isn't going to be taken any further than this first pass, this first coat of paint. I mean, ideally, that's how all paintings should be made, I think. Um, kind of with that freedom and with that sense of spontaneity. But of course we have higher expectations for ourselves usually, right? Um, you want the painting to turn out, uh, whatever that means to you. And sometimes those expectations get in the way. They put the focus on the outcome rather than the process. But with a study, a study is the process. Uh, so to me there's just something really really pure and vibrant about that and I love making these studies um, and even though they always look you know a little rough around the edges maybe they're not strictly accurate anatomically or, or drawing wise they have kind of an energy that I think is hard to hard to mimic and hard to do deliberately. It's really about just applying paint and kind of getting into the zone that way. So next time you have a major painting that you're working on, try making a color study. Uh, it doesn't have to be detailed. It can be pretty simple, uh, but it's a great way of working out problems in a very low risk environment. You know, if you don't like it, paint another one, paint over it. <laughs> um, 
And actually, that's something I meant to mention with this one is towards the end of the video where I work on the background, you notice the background is different than it is in the photo at the beginning of the video, which shows the final study. And this is just, I think, a great um, example, too, of showing that it's all about decision making at this point. I tried out a few different colors for the background and I wasn't really happy with it. So uh, what I ended up doing, actually, I meant to paint over it and do more experimenting, except uh, on the day I had planned to do that, I wasn't feeling very well. So I stayed at home and had taken a photo of the uh, color study. And then I just worked in Photoshop to kind of play with some colors in the background and see what fit. So I experimented at home and then printed out a version that I was reasonably happy with. And then I worked from that printout to repaint the background in the color study and get a better sense of what I wanted for it. So I hope this has been helpful in terms of how and why to do a color study. Um, the rest of the video will be sped up. I think you're getting a sense of, you know, the pace at which I paint. It's not super fast at this point um, because I want to be very mindful and thoughtful about it. And I hope this inspires you to try your own color study. You know, do a bit of experimenting in a you know safe kind of way, a uh, very low risk way before jumping into a major painting. Visit NicoleSleethAtelier.com to sign up for the full course or become a member to access all content.